to OptoLearn's online OSCE Academy. This tutorial will be discussing the competency 3.1.1, which is uses instruments to measure corneal curvature and assess its regularity. For this competency, the main points to note are that there are two main types of manual keratometers. The fixed position, for example the Bosch and Lom keratometer, and the two position, for example the Jabal shock. These keratometers measure the central 3 to 6 millimeters of your cornea. There are also autokeratometers. However, for the purpose of your OSCE, you will be expected to know how to use a manual keratometer if it were to come up as a practical element of your assessment. The main uses of a keratometer could be to quantify the amount of corneal astigmatism or to determine the best base curve to suit the patient's cornea. Make sure that you practice keratometry lots in practice before sitting your OSCE. When performing keratometry, remember some key points. Always clean the chin rest and head rest and sanitize your hands. Align the patient's outer canthus with the line on the keratometer. Focus the keratometer. This is a crucial step. Perform keratometry with the lights off. Provide your patient with clear instructions of what you're about to do. If the instrument is available to you, also cover the eye that you are not going to be doing keratometry on. And record both the horizontal and the vertical readings and their corresponding axes. When it comes to the interpretation of the information that was gathered, remember, if the two axes are 90 degrees apart, this represents regular astigmatism. If the horizontal meridian is flatter than the vertical meridian, then it is classed as with the rule astigmatism. Here's the most important part. For every 0.05 millimeters measured, that represents 0.25 diopters of astigmatism. For example, if the findings are 7.05 at 90 degrees and 7.40 at 180 degrees, that is a difference of 0.35 millimeters. 0.35 divided by 0.05 equals 7. And 7 times 0.25 equals 1.75. Therefore, that concludes that this patient would have 1.75 diopters of corneal astigmatism. Also remember that the flatter meridian is represented by the larger number and the steeper meridian is represented by the smallest number. A topographer is an imaging tool that maps the curvature of the cornea. The cooler colors represent flatter areas of the cornea while the warmer colors represent the steeper areas but it is highly unlikely that you'll be required to interpret this data. A station for this competency could likely be a practical station with data interpretation. Let's go through the OSCE station possible scenario. Candidate instructions. Mr. Smith is in today for a routine eye examination and potentially would like to trial contact lenses. Please perform keratometry on Mr. Smith's left eye and interpret the findings on the sheet provided. You have five minutes for this station. On the additional sheet provided, the questions are as follows. What are the K readings? How much corneal astigmatism is present? Is Mr. Smith's astigmatism with the rule or against the rule? Is Mr. Smith's astigmatism regular or irregular? I hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial on competency 3.1.1 and I trust that you have gained some valuable tools to help you feel more confident and prepared for your final OSCE. This tutorial is a section from the OptoLearn Online OSCE Academy which is available at OptoLearn.com. The OptoLearn Online OSCE Academy breaks down each competency into bite-sized sections for you to review as many times as you wish and at your own pace.
it is the most valuable resource for those about to take their OSCE. Members of the OptiLearn Online NASCI Academy have access to more resources, online quizzes, workbooks, and direct access to question and answer forms for any of their burning questions or concerns to be cleared up before they sit the OSCE. Check us out on OptiLearn.com for the online OSCE Academy and other great resources. The views expressed in this video are solely the views of OptiLearn and are not to be used as clinical advice and have no affiliation with the professional bodies of optometry. The information is only to supplement your learning. Thank you.